When working I feel unwhole without creating the music I can hear within my soul that needs to come to life. The moment I have the equipment and every tool known to man laid out in front of me, the inability to perform and pressure to make it something great consumes me. I will never be as good as him. I will never be as good as her. There is no end to this comparison. Shadows of a former self and imaginary projections of crowds of people chanting my name in appreciation for my art. There is not a sense of belief within my current state of mind. It could go from thinking I've made the next hit song to giving up within an hour. Persist, my friend. Consistency is key. Stop the comparison. It's now or never. Make a decision and stick to it. Forget about self-criticism. Make a track, finish it, move on to the next. You're not the one who you can judge your art once it's finished. It's up to the jury of the world. Only others can decide what is good and what is not good. You must surrender to the unknown, said once a brother and a fellow creative. I felt the draw of a certain future and prophecy from my childhood that I would be sat in a cockpit of buttons, options at my hand, growing in every way it possibly can, year by year, moment by moment the equipment and the experience building. Like the great producers and orchestrators from old, they had built their studios like castles and laboratories at the front line of the musical revolution. You enter the room without an idea, full of uncertainty and emerge holding the head of your enemy upon the stake of success or armless and faceless in defeat. Life pulls me in every direction, distractions by the many. Monk mode can be useful, but the social work you've done for years building up your band of brothers cannot be abandoned. The great balancing game has begun. I am both a student and a lecturer of my own success, both healing my past stupidity and carving the Michelangelo of the future. Yes, it has been done before, yet there are better and there are more rehearsed out there, but they are not me. They have not lived the life I've lived, I cannot allow my story to perish upon the sands of time. I seek knowledge, mastery and refinement of my art through the vessel of my sheer determination. With great support from everyone I know and the pure belief in what I do, I trudge through the bitter trenches of hours of practice on each instrument. I embrace the painstaking discomfort of insecurity listening to my own off-key and struggling voice as I reach higher for notes I may never achieve. Constant comparison and torment for my admiration for the greats of the past. My desire drives me forwards with small success, but big steps in the right direction. There is only one way, do it or die trying. I'm ready to do the music thing. More in future episodes.